Hello everyone, this is Jeremy with JNK Tips. Today I'm going to be showing you some tips and tricks for your Tesla Model 3. Alright, it works the same for any other Tesla. One of these I actually found out while doing this video. Again, if you like what you see, hit like and subscribe down below. That would be great. And leave comments down below and I'll get back to them when I get a chance. Thank you. So first off, we're going to do one that I found out by accident, actually. So this one, see the car right there? It's usually the color of your actual car. Okay, so you can change that color. You go to your toolbox right here, and then your menu button, and then go to your toy box right here. And then from there, you go to your toy box in the corner, customize, and then here you can change the color of the car on the screen. So you can go yellow, you can go red, pink, you can go to green. I'm a blue kind of guy. It's the actual color of my car anyways, so I like that one better. So you, if you want to do solid, you can do that as well. You can do metallic as well if you want, or matte, either one. It's up to you. I like metallic better because it looks shinier. So trim over here, you can go chrome, black, changes it. So that was the first tip today. I actually learned that by accident while doing this video. All right, so let's go to number two with the features bar. So Tesla recently updated their display again. Not sure if I quite like this right now because it changed the music buttons all across the bottom here. And now it's on the left side and on the left, so it's kind of smaller. So with that, now the navigation is in two spots instead as well. So you pick a destination. Now you have your directions, the time of arrival, how long it takes to get there and the distance that it takes to get there. So, I'm not sure if I quite like that because it's two different spots and so instead of one up here. Okay. But you know, whatever. It's up to them. So, the features bar right here. Some of you might have known this, some of you might not have known this. The features bar has all your features and all your options that you can use here. All things you can do. They took away your quick controls though over in the corner here. I mean, it was nice having wipers down there and everything like that. So I thought the only way to turn the climate control on and off was to push that. It comes open, has all your options here. And push it in. You always had to push it, turn it off, and then if you ever want to turn it off. But there is another way that I learned. So if you want to turn it off, hit it once, turn it on, then it comes up. So now instead of doing that, turn it off. Now I just hold the temperature for a little bit here, about two seconds, and it turns it off. So now you hold the temperature right there. See how it shows the temperature? Now you're going to do is hold the, your thumb on the button for a couple seconds here and it turns it off. So much easier. Right, another little feature that they have is you can change the temperature just by holding your finger on it and sliding back and forth. So you put your finger on the number and just drag it back and forth here and it'll change it to where you want it. Instead of having to open this, Go up to the top there and doing it that way, the way it used to be. It's a little bit of annoying when you're driving. So this way it's a lot easier. So it's the same thing over here with the audio, the volume over here. Just hold it, put your finger on there, you slide it back and forth to control the volume. Now a trick with this is it will not go past the volume that you have it currently at. Alright. So you can't go to the right anymore to turn it up louder, but you can always turn it down. So that's 
kind of an interesting little feature they have. So another cool feature that they have is you select the volume button. You now have the equalizer options in this pop up here. So now instead of going through the menu and going through the other directions, or way to do it is now all in that little button on the volume down there. So now you can change all the sounds to how you want it to sound in your car. So it's a lot easier access, in my opinion, than it was before. Very nice. All right, so the next one I want to show you here is in the navigation. You might have known it, you might not have known this. Let me know below. If you want to go to work or home, those are already set in your navigation. Usually, if you do that, you go home right here, go to work. Those are two main options you can do, the most common. So a quick way to do that is instead of opening this up and having the navigation, now you just slide it over to the right, and it shows the one, and then it'll show one of those. And you scroll it down, it'll show the other one. So you can set those to work or home. That's up to you. All right, so this feature here is another one I found that I, you might have known, you might not have known. Kind of self-explanatory. All right, if you have Wi-Fi at your house, like most people do, you see I'm connected up here in the corner there. This is my network right here that I'm connected to. It has a bunch of other ones around me. So you can go click on this, go to settings. Here is the Wi-Fi that I'm connected to. You can add one if you want. It's up to you. Once you add it in there, it will automatically connect to it once you're near that network. All right. You don't have to go in and enter the password every time you come to it. It will automatically connect to that whenever you're near that network, which is nice. All right. So this one here is you go your theater system. It has one already. If you go to the menu there, this is your options. You go to your theater system here. You'll come up with all your basic options that are installed in the car. Your arcade, play some games on there. It's got a few more than I remember last time, maybe. But anyways, now you go to your toy box up here in the corner. As I showed you before, this one's really easy. You can change the color of the car. Now back to this. All right, so we're going to focus on the home theater section of your car. So all of these are already installed on the car when you get it. All right. So now this is the home theater. So instead of going through all of these, you might not have the service that you use for all your digital movies that you have stored online. So I've made a video in the past before that shows you how to get to that by using the full screen of the of your Tesla by using the YouTube app. So here is another one I learned recently. As you open your menu there, you're going to go to your web browser. All right. And then I already added mine to my favorites already. Yep. It's called a bettertheater.com is what it's called. Type that in your browser and add it to your favorites so it's easier to access the next time you use it. Click on that. Now it'll bring you to the website. It has all of these platforms you can use now for the full screen of your Tesla. Click on full screen. Now this is just redirecting you to the website. So just give it a second here. It's got to load up. It'll open it through YouTube, apparently. So click go to site. And then from here, now you have the full screen for all of these platforms and services that you might have access to. Some of these are already installed on the car, but it has a lot more now. Like it has Peacock, Paramount Plus, it has Disney Plus, Plex. It does not have movies anywhere though unfortunately which is where i keep all my movies but like i said i have a video that i made already about how to access that through youtube specifically and that will give you access to your other platforms like sony crackle 
and any other platform that you have your movie stored on. So now from here, we're going to go to make an account. It took me like five seconds to do that. It's got a few games on there, Tetris, Car One. And now you can do music, you can do your Spotify, Pandora, Amazon, iHeartRadio, Apple Music, a bunch of other ones. So there's that. It's kind of cool. But again, I like my way better with the, the YouTube video that I showed you earlier. Because my, all my movies are movies anywhere. It does not have the option or the app in this platform. So, or service. So this is kind of nice and nifty, but I kind of like my way a little better. Let me know what you think below. Alright, so now the way you exit out of this is you will go up to your left side of the screen. You'll drag your finger down. And now you're out of that service. Now you're back to the normal screen here. It's a lot easier than it used to be of trying to figure out what buttons push and all that fun stuff. All right, so for this tip is another one that they added on. I think it was on a recent update that they did. They put this on there. My mom is the one who actually had a question for me about this. I researched it though. And found out you cannot do what she is asking for it to do. So if you go to this, you click on it, and it, now it's on auto. Now it, that one is off. So once it's highlighted, now when the car is warming up and the temperature has reached what it's set at for auto, this will gradually shut down. You cannot program it. So when you get in the car, it's at high or medium or low, unfortunately. Not sure why you'd want to do that. Maybe to preserve battery or something. But it will always be either on full and then gradually work its way down. So again, this is not programmable to a certain temperature when you get in the car, unfortunately. Alright, so now let's get into the next one. So another tip I have. You might have known you might not have known this. So before, it was only when I first got the car, I had a hard time finding chargers. I would search for them all the time and couldn't find a way to do it. So the only way to do it was to go to navigate to some destination and then it would show the ones around you. And updated so that you click on the charge symbol over here and now it shows you all of them around you. So that was kind of nice when they did that. And now they have another way of doing it. it. Must have been one of the updates that they did recently. So you go to navigation, recents, your favorites, and charging. <laughs> Hungry and lucky as well. Let's see what lucky is. I'm not sure. But hey, whatever. Yeah, I don't know what that is. So let's go back to this navigation and we will go to charging all right now it shows all the chargers around you same thing as this button over here but instead of doing that you now just go to navigation and it's right there now it shows all the chargers near you so you can also sort by charging rate if you want to select all of them you can do that so that it shows every charger that's around you and it's just destination, you can do that. And then it, just keep doing that to whatever your preference is. See some go away, and then some come back. Some are letters, once they go away, once they're on there, then they're all red. That means you can use those still, doesn't matter. All right, so we're back again for another tip. So this one is very simple. I actually learned this recently as well. So for this one, you're gonna learn how to put your car in reverse and have both your side cameras on the sides activate on this screen as well. So I know my wifey's setting has, when she does it, her car has that option on it already. 
So I had to learn how to do it on mine. So all you do is put your foot on the brake. You're going to put the car in reverse. As you see, it's in reverse right there. It's got one main camera on my setting. You hit the screen, and now you have the both side cameras available for when you're in reverse to back up, as well as the rear camera. Now you can see everything around you when you back up. It'll stay that way unless you swipe down. So you swipe back up, and it comes back, and it will always stay there unless you swipe down and make them go away. Let me know if you like this tip, and thank you very much. So these are just some of the tips that I've learned while well, owning my Tesla. There are a lot more out there. You want to look for them, research them, and you can find a whole bunch more on YouTube. Thank you again. As always, like and subscribe, and I'll be more than happy to put more videos out there for you. Thank you.